I want my listeners and viewers to really hear what you're saying, because I feel like I, you have a lot of knowledge and it's not just like, Oh yeah, I've shot 10 elk in my life, but you really understand the science behind ballistic trajectory and, and the, the physics of things. Why don't you feel a six, five Creed more makes a good elk cartridge? Elk are tough. Um, and it also goes back to bullets. Like I wouldn't recommend an ELDX for elk. I think they're, they're not a good elk hunting bullet, but a ton of people do it and a ton of elk are dying from it. So as I said, a bullet's going to kill, right? It's just mm -hmm. how do you want it to kill? But, uh, okay. Let me like um, challenge. There's a, so, there's a challenge here. Okay. I want, I'm going to challenge you on that. Cause this is the second time you've said this. If, if people are capable of killing with the ELDX, with the 6.5 Creedmoor, why do you still feel the 6.5 Creedmoor isn't necessarily the right cartridge, nor the ELDX the correct type of bullet to be shooting? That's okay. where I want to go with this. Okay. You can kill anything. <laughs> with, the, with you, could kill a 20, you could kill an elk with a 22 if you really wanted to. That doesn't okay. make it a good choice. Okay. It's kind of... Uh, I'm not an expert in this. It's just my opinion. Um, and I, it kind of goes back to my how I grew up. My first rifle was a 4570. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. At like 13. I should have led with that question. Me. Yeah. 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 I should have led with that question. So Holy I crap. Love big cartridges. Okay. And then you look, you read or you watch what experts say, and, you know, they recommend a bigger diameter bullet for elk right um, bigger than six five a lot of people will say seven millimeter and up uh, it's just more effective doesn't mean you can't do it I mean, right six five cream is the most popular cartridge right now tons of people are taking it with elk it works it's mm -hmm. just i don't think it's the best one to do it that's all yeah and, and i will kind of just come on top of you with that too with a little bit of for everybody that's reporting because the 6.5 Creedmoor is the most popular cartridge out there right now. But for everybody that's reporting that they've killed an elk with the 6.5 Creedmoor, I bet you there's a lot of people out there that have maimed elk with the 6.5 Creedmoor as well. Yeah. I mean, and you could say that with all the cartridges. People yeah. just need to practice and get better and stop shooting at really long ranges. So you always see those cool videos of people dropping elk at 800 to 1,000 yards. Well... They don't show you all the misses or right. the, you know, it's, it's sad, but that's my strong opinion. So why do I not like the ELDX? Um, it's really good if you have the perfect shot. It works great if you have a great shot on it. But what happens when you don't make the perfect shot and you need it to penetrate or you need it to go through bone? There's a lot better bullets that do that. Right. Yeah, so and, and because he's talking about you can get if you hit like the shoulder bone, like or the shoulder blade, you can get very early fragmentation that will do a tremendous amount of damage to non lethal tissue, if that makes sense. Like you can really jack up like the musculature of the animal, um, but it's not going to drop it. And it can actually like get away and make it very difficult to track. And it can turn into like a multi-day track, if not like a week long. And then by that or time, never find it. or you never find it exactly. Um, yeah. And that's, I mean, and well, you're what right, happens man. If you see the, the dream of the dream elk of your life. Right. And it's walking away from you and you have to put a butt shot. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! But you need it, <laughs> and you need it to penetrate far enough to get yeah. to the vitals. Yeah, right. I don't know if the LDX will do that. Right, you're you're a hundred percent right. You know, you have to because it's not you practice you practice for that broadside shot where the elk is yep. standing still, his head is up in the air, and you have open access to the vitals. And literally, you could take an elk with a two-two-three if you had that perfect shot. If you had the right round, yeah, literally. Right. If you if you were three hundred yards away and had like an eighteen-inch barrel two-two-three, and you had the correct cartridge in there or the correct round, you could take an elk broadside if it wasn't moving and you had good shot placement. But you're right. Right. Life is not perfect. Life is not always 
how you plan for it. You have to be able to improvise. And that's a very good point. And now that you've mentioned that, you're right. The ELDX probably would not be able to punch from butthole to <laughs> to butthole to lungs to to or heart. heart. Yeah, to get right. to the lungs or the heart. There's no way, <laughs> especially if it's a dream elk. If it's like a Roosevelt yeah. elk, you know, freaking 10 That's times. Big, six by six with over yeah. 360, and you got to put one up its butt. Yeah. All right. Let's okay. Let's 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 go off of that then. Let's say okay. That's worst case scenario, right? And let's say the shot is 500 yards, right? Let's say it's a little over my comfort zone, but my comfort zone for the six five Creedmoor is about 400 to 450. Like I said, based off of the foot pounds of energy, and I'm going by what Colorado recommends, right? But if I could have a cartridge, and I knew let's let's say I had like a a 0.7 to a 0.5 MOA cartridge that I knew that I could shoot that well. And let's say it was out deep range, right? What would then be the cartridge that I should have gotten my weather be chambered in? If, if it's the, I'm going straight down the poop chute. It's walking <laughs> away. It's last well, day. It's last day of fourth season. Sun is setting over the hill. It's just a silhouette of, of giant <laughs> antlers. And it's just a giant antler silhouette and a tail like flickered up. And all I can see is a little white <laughs> spot and a black, a little black dot in the middle of the white. And it's like, oh, I got to right. take the shot, right? What What's the right. cartridge? What's What's the call for the Hail Mary? Um. 300 Weatherby. <laughs> bias. This monolithic bullet's going to penetrate through just about everything. So. Right. Yeah. 300 Weatherby. You son of a gun. Can't go wrong with it. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah. maybe maybe I'll sell my 6.5 Creed more or save it for like my, my kids as they get older, you know? And uh, you have a great rifle and you have a good cartridge right it it suits your needs right right yeah but now but now i didn't get to go elk hunting this year because i had a baby in october october 26 um but next year when i get to go elk hunting i'm gonna end up seeing one elk and it's gonna be flashing its tail at me and that's it <laughs> and it's gonna be like 600 yeah. yards away and i'm gonna be like damn this baby cartridge 65 creed for eldx <laughs> 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 Yeah, He'd be like I should have listened to Austin and gotten a 300 Weatherby. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's also the other the other argument is if you are recoil sensitive, you're not yeah. going to do better with the 300 Weatherby than a 6.5 yeah. Creedmoor. That's you got to go with what you shoot well. So find the cartridge that you right you can still shoot well with I, I guess at that point then now that i think about it because I, it is a tack driver for me like a 0.45 moa group um i couldn't i wouldn't take the shot at 600 yards but what i would do then is i would shoot out its kneecaps and then <laughs> so it couldn't get away <laughs> Oh boy. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to meme him. I'm just <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Take out its kneecaps and walk up and pull out the Smith & Wesson 44 and perform the coup de gras on it. You know, yeah. don't want to mess up the rack. So, of my <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. all right.